Alright friends, you know I really like silent keyboards, and the last few silent keyboards I made were alright. Wasn't perfect, silent, but not perfectly silent. And it's because I didn't mod the stabilizers fully enough as it was very evident in the spacebar at least. So this time, I fixed that by doing both the holy mod and the band-aid mod. In this video, the primary discussion is going to be the Gateron Silent Black Ink V2 switches used in the keyboard. So. Let's talk about that along with the build and sound tests. The Gateron Ink V2s are more scratchy and inconsistent in terms of the sound and feel compared to their earlier V1 counterparts. Reason being is because V1s had a loose leaf that was rectified in the new V2 mold, but then that caused issues with the aforementioned inconsistency. Furthermore, some people have reported the stock springs to ping in some batches, I personally have not experienced any of that in my order, and most of the scratchiness and inconsistencies were solved by simply lubing it with Crytox 205 Grade Zero and filming. I bag loop the stock springs with Crytox 105, and I also ring loop the top and bottom with Crytox 205 Grade Zero, so there's no signs of ping here. I have both the black ink V2s and the silent black ink V2s looped and filmed. Both switches should be the same with its components, except the silent version has dampeners on the sides of the stem. When they are both in stock form, I think the scratchiness was more noticeable on the silent switches because the fact that everything else was muted, all you could hear were the flaws whereas the scratchiness of the non-silent switches was kind of mixed into the natural sound of the switch. Okay, let's jump into the sound test and typing test of the silent black ink V2s. In summary, during a typing test, to my ears I think pretty much all the scratchiness is fixed by loop and film as mentioned before, and any sound that came off of it was just the contact or friction of my fingertips hitting or rubbing against the surface of the keycaps. The scratchiness when lubed is only barely noticeable if you hold the switch straight up to your ear, but during a regular typing session where your keyboard is a normal distance away from you, you won't notice it. Now the thing with Gateron Ink V2s is that they will get smoother and better over time with use as you break them in more. Band-Aid Mod and Holy Mod also helped a ton with these stabilizers and I will be doing both of these mods for pretty much every build moving forward. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subs if you want to see more keyboard content and it does help the YouTube algorithm. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to improve the build down here in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.